सो वेलकम टू आर फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ हिंदू सक्सेशन एक्ट होप यू हैव प्रैक्टिस अर्लियर सेंशंस एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल देन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉर ऑल द लेटेस्ट वीडियोस नो मूविंग ऑन टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ सेक्शन फोर्टीन सब सेक्शन टू ऑफ हिंदू सक्सेशन एक्ट नाइनटीन सिविल कोर्ट इंक्लूड्स ए डिप्यूटी कमिश्नर बी डिप्यूटी कमिश्नर एज अ रेवेन्यू कोर्ट C both A and B D neither A, A nor B so the correct answer is option A that is deputy commissioner the next question under section 8 of the hindu succession act 1956 what will be the sequence of the following years so these are the four options now you have to find out the correct sequence in which the property will be devolving so the correct answer is option D that is none of the above the correct order is because daughter of a predeceased daughter of a predeceased daughter then daughter's sons sons then brother's sons then father's widow this will be the correct order and you can find it in the schedule of the act now next question under hindu succession act hindu includes a buddhist buddhist b sikh c jain d all of the above so the correct answer is all of the above you can find the definition of hindu in section Two of Hindu Succession Act, and it it specifies that it includes Buddhist, Sikhs, and Jains per se. Now moving on to next question, which of the following sections of Hindu Succession Act nineteen fifty six makes provision for no notional partition? So the correct answer is section six. You can refer section six for this, and for more clarity, we will make we will make a separate video on this particular topic later on. Now next question. A Hindu dies in the state behind two sons, one daughter and a widow. His property shall devolve upon. The correct answer is son, daughter, and widow. All three, all these trees are class one heirs, so the property will devolve upon all of them. Now next question. Under Hindu Succession Act nineteen fifty six, which one of the following is not a class one here? So the correct answer you have to find, and you can refer the schedule for this. It gives the details of class one here and class two here. From these options, mother, father, son, and daughter. Father lies in class second here, so the correct answer will be father B. The next question: A Hindu female W dies and is survived by her husband, one son. And two unmarried daughters, D one, D two. So how the property of W will be divided? So these are the option A into four equal parts, B half to husband and half remaining to the son and daughters, C half to son and remaining half to husband and daughters, D half to husband half to ah uh, uh, sorry one by third to husband one by third to son and remaining one by third to daughters. So the correct answer is. Into four equal parts because uh, you can sec uh, you can refer section fifteen for more cl clarity. I have discussed these questions in my previous part also, and we will be discussing few more questions in our coming parts. Now next question: Which of the following properties will be co covered under section fourteen, subsection two of Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty six? A. A husband created a will giving his wife absolute right to property. B. A husband created a will. Giving his wife limited rights to property. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. So this is neither A nor B because Hindu Succession Act does not cover the transfer of property which are done through will. So they only cover which ah uh, which are uh, which are not testamentary. Now next question under Hindu Succession Act nineteen fifty six, which one of the following is a class one here? So the correct answer is, uh, sorry, uh, mother is a class one here, but uh, you, uh, you need to check brother or sister. Uh, they are not class one here, so don't get confused between brother and sister and father. So mother is a class one here, others are not. Now next question. A Hindu dies leaving behind father and sons, daughters, son. They are a class one here, b class two here, c preferential here, d none of the above. So the correct answer is class two here. I will recommend you to just go through once the schedule. The schedule mentions class one and class two here. So try to make a small flowchart so that you can remember the things. It's not 
necessary that you remember each and every aspect of it but try to make a flow chart or relate it with your family so that whenever the questions like these come you can differentiate who all are class one hairs and who all are not class one hairs so it is important to learn class one hairs list so i will recommend you to learn this now this will be our second last question for the day the general rules of succession of a hindu female are contained in section dash of the hindu succession act 1956 so the correct answer is section 15 now last question for the day 